Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to an exciting, an exciting time here at Pontifract Ponty to Prem playthrough episode 17. Nailed it this week. Hell of a good start. We are in a new league. We've got new players. We've got a new position we're trying out uh, in the in the tactic. Lots to talk about. And um, we also take on Enfield, Town and Kirshen Ashton in our double live games. But first, let's take you through what we've done for all of our preseason. And welcome, 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 welcome to the Vanarama Conference League North. It is, uh, is that the actual official name? of Vanarama National League North is what it's called. Great job. It's a real league. You can play in this league. If you start off football manager without any additional leagues on there, you can be a team from this league. There are teams here like Geisley. Who are you? There are teams like Darlington. Who are you? Blythe Spartans. Who are you? Boston have come up with us. Um, there are Chester. Who are you? There are teams here that you've heard of. There are teams here now that we're starting to get a bit more knowledge on. South Shields have gone up again. My word. Graham Fenton is the manager. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Graham Fenton played for uh, Blythe Spartans uh, for a little bit. There he is. Yeah, he did. Because he, he won the league with um, with Blackburn. whoop de doo So yeah, we're in a real league. I mean, the other leagues are real, but yeah, more accessible, more well-known. Um, going to be honest, our pre-season has been rocky. Uh, Leak, our player of the season, wanted to leave. We've kept him, but he's not happy. So hopefully a lot of wins will get him over that. Um, and transfers have been difficult. It's harder now at this point in the game because players that I need won't come to us because we're not going to A, give enough money or B, have a high enough reputation. I don't want to go play for Scummy. Pony Fract. I don't think we're scummy, but, you know, some players have a bit of a, you know, stuck up approach to football, especially when you know, you're Van Rama National League North. But let's have a look at who we brought in. Starting with Ethan Coleman. So a lot of these are going to be uh, kind of replacements of players that we've lost. We have lost Dixon Bonner. He was out of contract, didn't want to renew. He never really hit the ground anyway, so not a huge loss. We've still got Metcalf, which is the main thing. Um, but Ethan Coleman, nothing to really shout about. Good enough. He's on a on a uh, Sports Direct contract, our, our list contract. Um, and yeah, it's... He's, he's bang average. He's a fringe player, but he's there just to make up the numbers. We've got Jamie Thomas, someone who we've been trying to get for a few seasons now. Technically very good. 14 long shots, good finishing, good first touch, good free kick taking, good passing, penalty taking, and good technique. Very, very good. You can see he's loving our training facilities with all of his things going down. But he shoots with power, arrives late into the box. So he's going to be playing up top. Um, very lo much looking forward to how he fits into the team. We've got uh, Dan Walker, who is a left back. Again, there's more. Uh, you are not in our under 23s. Uh, move yourself. He's no longer in our under 23s. Uh, he's just a good left back. Uh, good left back cover. Again, he's not the best, but we need more cover in positions. It's going to be a long old season. Uh, we got Tony Blackwell. He's another striker. Want to get as many strikes as possible because we play three up top and it's going to be a busy, busy season. There's a lot of teams in our league. There are, in fact, uh, 21 again. So it's going to be another 42 game season. That's a long, long season here in the lower leagues of English football. Then we move into this season. Two, two players that I know very well who I'm very happy to bring in from Blythe Spartans. We've got Sean Reed. He's meh. <laughs> More for nostalgia purposes for, my, uh, for me, but Sean Reed's fine. He can play in midfield. He can play in defence as well, which is odd. Um, but he's six foot four, so he can play centre back if we need him to. Good ball playing, you know. He can pass well, dribble a bit. But he'll be there for centre midfield cover. He's there for cover. Uh, a football manager legend. If you play in the lower leagues, Dan Maguire. He's played for Blythe Spartans for a good long time, and in this season in particular, and these seasons, he was a monster. At lower league football, 30 goals. If you got football manager uh, 2018 and 19, he was incredible. He was just an absolute monster. Um, he's still decent. He's still good. He's going to be a complete forward for us. Again, he's, he's got a lot of good stats here. Right? Physically not there. But only got him on a year. He's on a, he's on a you know, a, a Mike Ashley special. So he's not costing us that much money. 
Uh, we've also got Alex Hutchinson, who is also in our under 23s. This is something that I should check. There we go. He's decent, good poacher. Poacher is the new position we're trying, but I'll show that in a moment. A bit of cover. He's got a bit about him. We'll see if he, ever, if he does get games. We've brought in Harry Wood, who's probably our star man. He's our Dixon Bonner replacement with 80k. He's a star player who could still improve. Not holding my breath. We probably train in a, you know, in a in a shed. Um, but yeah, very, very good. Very, very happy with him. Great capture. Charlie Woods from our season. Had a great season. I want him again. Uh, I couldn't really get anyone better. He's free. He's decent. He had a good season. I'm happy that we've got him back in. And then we've got Luke Parkin, who again is another striker. A lot of strikers, but we need a lot of strikers. So very, very happy. Tactic-wise, this is the team that's going to play from Woods, Cushins, and Nelson League. Not a change there in the defence whatsoever. That was our strongest point, I think, last year. Would have Metcalf. Has Metcalf got better or worse? Worse. We'll ignore that. Uh, we're playing Thomas up front. Maguire is a poacher. And Pearson, Andy Pearson, who is now our captain. With his 14 leadership and his 14 teamwork, he is uh, quickly becoming <laughs> a legend of Pony Fret. And that is it. This is the preseason that, you know, our results went mixed bag. Won all but, but one against Berwick. What a load of absolute tosh. There's a lot of games to get through. So without further ado, we shall proceed to our first game. I'm very, very excited to see how many fans we can get. Um, but yeah, let's see how we get on. Take us straight into this first match. Few moments later. We have started the positive. Metcalf whipping it in. Everyone's playing in blue. And it's a goal! It's taken us six minutes to get our first goal. The GP has diagnosed his first goal of the season. Great goal here. What is the keeper doing? That's his job, isn't it? Pardington, thank you very much, sir. I am concerned with the lack of fans here in the Vanarama North. Um, but we are as a big playoff zone. Love that. Love that. Uh, but yeah, we are dominating this game moving forward. Metcalf with his first assist. The old guard here. I can't believe we're playing blue on blue. This is horrible to watch. Uh, Pearson here. Oh, he's do done his man. Ball in. The Frappuccino, and it's a debut goal for Jamie Thomas, and it's 2-0 to the Coles. Great play here. Oh, that's, I'm, look at the panorama. Oh, all, all from Pearson. Bit of a poor cross there, but then Starbuck, and then Thomas, and it's two. Now, I don't want to get ahead of myself because typically then we'll just start shipping goals, but I am very happy with this so far. Pe Andy Pearson... The GP marauding down the wing is Wood going about his business. Oh, losing the ball, Wood. Andy Pearson can't pick the ball back up. But we, Kashinza, as ever, cleaning up at the back. Thomas Maguire, can you find him on the wing? Maguire been very wasteful. But they don't seem to have an answer here at, uh, well, Enfield at all. Leak is now on the ball. Can we build an attack? Punted forward. We're being very sloppy here, Pontefract, but, but so Renfield. This is very much Vanarama, National League North type of football. Uh, Pearson, Pearson, bearing on goal. Can he open up his account? He can open his account with a fantastic goal from Andy Pearson. Super captain, Captain Marvel, get in the back of the net. And we are top of the league with Blythe Spartans pushing us. I'd love it to have a shootout with Blythe Spartans. Andy Pearson runs into the box and he has rocketed that into the back of the net. I'm pretty sure that's where the away fans sit. Enfield have brought no away fans. I'm going to check that in the uh, post-match. That's mental if they haven't brought any fans. That's, that's mad. Even we take away fans. Pontefract, three goals to the good going into halftime. It's been not a, a, a pretty much a flawless first half performance. We are controlling the game. We've got debut goal for Thomas. Wood is doing okay. Metcalf's having a 7.5. He'll keep playing until, he until his performances drop off league. That's a penalty. Uh, you know what? No. Oh. Uh, I want Maguire to take the penalty. There we go. Confirm. Is it? Is it changed it? Is it Maguire? 
Here comes Dan McGuire on his debut. And he buries it on his debut. Dan McGuire, the football manager, lower league legend, opening his account for Pontefract Collieries. It's 4-0. It's a good penalty. Whack into the side netting. Yeah, Enfield have literally brought no fans whatsoever. You've got no friends. Ignore that. Go away. Thomas finds the GP. Kushinza, who can he pick out? Oh, it's a great ball in. That's a good save. That is not a great save. That's that's his job. It's We're making three subs because now 4-0 up. We've got a game midweek. Um, so uh, the GP and, and the Frappuccino are off. Logan Pryor and Demi Akinwa have come on. Sean Reed's making his debut. Harry Wood is coming off. And this is going to be the three subs. We'll get them out of the way. But we seem to have had a very good start here. Can Metcalf find another assist? That is a very, very poor, very poor free kick. <clears throat> Pry getting his first touches of the ball. Who can he find? Thomas has made a good run. Ball across the box. No one there. Oh, Enfield, haven't, I haven't seen a single, a single uh, touch the ball here from them. Apart from them belting it out. Pry's got plenty of time and space. Can he pick something out in the box? To Metcalf. To Reed. Kutschinza. What a goal from Jesper Kutschinza. Oh my word. Goal of the season contender already from our wide centre back. Logan Pryor marauding down the wing. Metcalf get, finds Reed. Reed will technically get an assist for this first time effort. Oh my God. Pick the bones out of that one. Wow. Pontefract running riot. The smile on my face right now. 5 0. 5 0 to Pontefract in their first ever Vanarama National League North game. Andy Pearson to Reed. Reed back to Pearson. Pearson's having a fantastic game. Can he get another assist for Thomas? Unlucky there. And we are top. Top of the league. Uh, we are predicted fourth. So I would happily take. You know, if we're predicted fourth, I think that goes on your squad. So if they think our squad is good enough for fourth, don't you dare concede. I do not want to concede a goal. But if our tactic's good as well... Nah. If our tactic's good as well, then we should just go straight up, ideally as champions again. Keep the momentum. But that is it. That is it, boys. Debut. Look at the front three. The whole team had a great game. Well played. Respect, man. Respect. Respect. Great game. Now, one person I forgot to mention um, in the transfers was... We've got a few coaches. Fine, whatever. I'm not bothered about coaches. We didn't even do them. Um, but we brought in another scout. And we've actually got in a fantastic scout. This guy here. Richie Hunter. Great name for a scout, by the way, Hunter. Is he getting hunts down players? He finds players in there, whatever. Um, he has got 14 player potential, 14 player ability. His adaptability could get higher, but from research that I found from Zealand's channel, shout out to Zealand, if you ever watched them, discipline and determination are incredibly important. So, um, I, I yeah, let's see if they can find any gems, but he's a regen. Typically, you find regens. If you look to my Newcastle playthrough, you'll find that regens are just OP as hell and staff. My, I had an assistant manager who was absolutely mental. Check out that playthrough. But we're going to power through now to play Kersian Ashton. Can we make it two for two in our debut season? Let's find out. Two very boring minutes later. Here we are. Welcome back. Um, we are going to keep everything the same. Shock. Except for I'm playing Dan McGuire now as a deep lying forward. I just want to see him involved and maybe he can link up uh, here, but we'll see. He is still on attack. I want to try and get the center. I just need the center striker to work. I just really make it, need to make it work. And I mean, I'm nitpicking at this point because the whole team played well in this system. But if I'm picking a weakness out, it is that center attacking uh, out of the front three strikers. But yeah, nothing else to note. Let's see if we can make it two for two. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Our first away game against Kirsten Ashton is away. We've got a highlight straight from kickoff. And I've checked out the other teams, by the way. Boston United have some proper players. They've got some really good players. Um, so we've got, it's not going to be easy this season. As you can see here, good, well-supported team here, Kirsten Ashton, apparently. 
They are playing the long ball, which is working, which is irritating, and they've missed. Oh, my oh God, they haven't. Oh, my word. Eating my words. I'm blind. What a goal. What a goal from Waldron. It's a long punt of the ball. My biggest pet peeve. What's the defence doing? What's my keeper doing? And what is he doing? My word. Well, great. 1-0 down to Cozen Ashton. They drew their first match. However, we're still dominating possession. I'm not, not panicking yet. We have been dominating the statistics, but they've got themselves a free kick on the edge of our area. And they've scored the free kick on the edge of our area. <laughs> this is going to be a long season, isn't it? 5-0 <laughs> <laughs> home to then... I mean, it's a good goal, but our keeper's lacking again. Might have to see if we can get another goalkeeper in. Can we nick a goal? Starbuck on the wing. The Frappuccino finds the GP. And it's... Oh, Pearson. Offside. Should be scoring that anyway, Pearson. Come on. Metcalf whips it in. It could be a counter-attack highlight here. Oh, no. The GP's won the ball back. What can we do here? Thomas. Gives the ball away. But one back. Thomas is away again. Finish. Oh, it's a great goal. What a goal from Jamie Thomas. And Pontifact Collieries have hit back in this tough game so far. Good opponents, Kojin Ashton here. All made from the GP. Thomas gets lucky by losing the ball. Uh, but then one back by Metcalf. Maguire links up with Thomas with a fantastic finish. 2-1 to Curzon Ashton now. Much better play. That should take us into half time. Another free kick. Oh, no. Oh, is when. And he scored another one. Another one. <sighs> that is hard to take. I mean, that's another fantastic free kick. He's got like 20 free kicks. He's like the James Ward Prowse of the of the Vanarama North. Right. The right hand side is getting annihilated. So Akimwa is on for Kashinza and the uh Frappuccino has been replaced by Logan Pryor. Just to see if some fresh faces can uh can pick this performance up. The GP finds Metcalf. Pryor. Back to the GP. Metcalf all the way back to Akimwa. The new the substitutions. Uh, the substitutes are getting involved. Leak will clean this up. He's been quite quiet, actually, and I like it that way. Nelson. Metcalf. Can you find him on the wing? Yes. Lo uh, Pryor in loads of space. Who, what can Logan do? Beats his man. Pearson. Straight at Loach. Right, we're going very attacking. And Andy Pearson has not been great. Pearson off for Rolt. Can we make any... Can we, can we do anything here? We're on all-out attack now, so fully expect that we might concede, but I'd rather... I'd rather lose and go for it than, than you know, just, you know, wimp, go out with a whimper. Ball in. Rolt. Oh, my word. Was that a save? Oh, my God. What a save from Loach. That's his job, isn't it? Playing out from the back here. Nelson to leak. It's been a good game so far for the neutral. But we are not neutral. And Rolt has made a big difference as his come on. What can he do? Finds Wood. Wood. Oh, my word. Ah, Metcalf. To roll to the GP. GP. Wood. Wood! What a goal from Harry Wood! What a goal from Harry Wood! It uh, turns out screamers are still a thing. Okay, fine. Um, well, we're bringing screamers back. Last year, we weren't so many of them. And we've had two in two games so far. What a goal. Take a bow. Wood. Oh, my God. Harry Wood. Oh, my God. I'm going to Andy Wood. Yes, boys. Uh, Waldron, who's had a good game so far, and Wern has been just unbelievable. Here they come. Can we deal with it? Yes, it has been dealt with. Can we hit them on the counter? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> In a word, no. Ackroyd. Ball over the top. Dealt with by Nelson. Wood, can we ball it? It is just, all, it's just punting the ball long for both teams here. There's no, there's not much build up here. Pryor wins the ball back now. Akimwa to Nelson. Nelson just punts the ball long again because we're on all out attack. It's just literally get the ball up as fast as we can. Right. Akimwa, calm it. No. <laughs> it's whacking it up again. But here we go. GP. 
GP marauding down the wing. What can he do? Can he pick someone out of the box? Oh, and it's Maguire! Maguire with the equaliser! The, no, no, it's offside. <laughs> oh, no, and I look a right bell end. Oh, you're telling me that a man getting paid £4 a game is ruled an offside. Oh, absolute heartbreak here. Loach, long ball, a Kimwell, who's been a big difference coming on. Uh, just punts it long. I mean, that's pretty much all he's been doing since he's been on the pitch. Bamford. Oh, Wern is away. I'm surprised I didn't go in. He's been outstanding today. What a game this has been. And you got to feel sorry for the boys if we lo if we just lose this. 1.83. We've got twice the XG. 17 shots. 8 on target. We've played really well here. We've just... Uh, come on. Oh, one last, one last chance. One last chance. Nelson, Wood, calm it down. Don't punt it, please. Some build-up plays is what we're good at. Yes, that's better. Wood. I don't mind. Uh, there, Rolt. He's also had a very good game. Rolt. Finds League. The GP. Wood. Metcalf to Rolt. Oh, here it comes. Pryor whipping across the face of the goal. Yeah. What? What's going on here? They've got a man sent off. I don't want a man sent off. I didn't want a man sent off. We're not going to score this free, free kick. A free kick? Who's taking this free kick? Jay Thomas, be a hero. Be a hero. Oh, he's at the post. No! Oh, my God. He's at the post. Was The replay is still going on. It's still going on, the highlight. To Metcalf. GP, can we do something? Last minute. Can we do something? Win the ball. And that's it. That's it. Oh, my God. Well, if you're going to lose, do it like that in a blaze of glory. Oh, I can't fault the boys. I mean, who is this Wern guy? Amazing. Amazing, amazing. I was thinking at this level, oh, this guy must have like, you know, like 15 free kicks at least. Eight. Eight free kicks. Eight free kicks. He's got eight. Eight. Eight free kicks. I've not seen one of our players, I mean, maybe Metcalf now and again pings him in. Eight. And he scored two worldies. Oh, that is very, very hard to take. Very hard to take. So we're still in the playoffs. It's fine. Our goal difference would be good. This is going to be a much better season. We're going to, have to spend a few more episodes. I know we only have like two or three in the last league. This is where we're at now. This is the levels where every every game matters. Every match matters. Let's go look now into the... Well, go through the fixtures and see when we're coming back. But as you can see, it's going to be a long, long season. A lot of games to be played. We'll come back around this time. Kettering. <laughs> Kettering. Uh, we'll come back around this time uh, against Kettering St. Albans time. So we'll play a few games here. We'll come around this sort of time towards the end of September and see where we're at, see how we're doing. But yeah, thank you so much for your support. If you've made it this far, as always, hit like, hit subscribe and comment below um, what you'd like to see. Uh, are you excited now that we know where we are in the football pyramid from here? You know, it's the Vanarama National League. Then it is the Football League, Leagues 2-1 Championship Premier League. The, the, the path has been laid. We're en route. Should we keep playing a deep-line playmaker and attack? It seemed to work a bit there I'm with Maguire. Uh, are we going to get all my promotion? Let me know your thoughts. And as always, take care.